guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday, happy Magic Mail Monday, and happy Pin Mail Monday. Today I have a stack of Magic Mail to share with you that is primarily Pin Mail focused. I've got a couple of purchases and trades and also a couple of surprises that showed up in my P.O. box that are Disney pin related. And then at the end of the video, I also wanna share one more kind of pin related item that I recently um, was gifted uh, with you guys. So I have a bunch of fun things to share with you and I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm going to start with this big fluffy package. It doesn't look like pin mail, but it actually is. This is a package from a friend of mine, Karen. And Karen and I have had a trade in the works for forever. It's like taken months to get this trade accomplished and it's 100% my fault because I haven't really been in trading mode lately. I've had some travel and things have just been really busy and when I get busy, I'm a very slow trader. When I get focused on pin trading, I'm I'm pretty efficient, but when I'm kind of in my off season of trading, I'm I'm very slow. So, Karen was incredibly patient with me and her lovely package arrived in the mail and um, there's a little note in here. Let me grab it for you. Her note is typewritten and she has printed out little um, pictures of Judy Hopps in the corners, which is so cute. She says, hey Becca, so glad we finally traded. Hope you like the pins. I know you have a musical family, so I included a little extra pin. It's the most musical Mickey I've ever seen. So there's an extra musical Mickey pin. I'm so excited. And she also says that she has included another little extra thank you. She has actually knit me a Judy Hopps inspired scarf, which is amazing. I'm so excited. She says, I will warn you that unlike some of your viewers who are professional level crafters, I am definitely an amateur, but I wanted to make you something for those days when you need a little touch of Judy in your life, but require something a little more subtle than bunny ears. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Karen. I'm really excited to take a peek at these pins and also my Judy Hopps inspired scarf. All right, I'm reaching down past the scarf and I'm gonna go for the pins first since this is a, a pin mail video after all. And um, oh yeah, this is the main pin that we traded for. I'm really excited to have this one. This is a cast member exclusive pin and um, when it was released, I knew I wanted to add it to my Snow White collection. So I was very excited when Karen offered to uh, to trade this to me. This is actually my first look at this pin and it is bigger and more beautiful than I was anticipating. I'm very excited. It's obviously a Snow White pin. It's a Snow White kind of name pin. And these were released at the Disney Employee Centers. They're kind of challenging to get a hold of, especially if you're not a Disney employee, obviously. I'm gonna take her off of her backing card and just give you a slightly better look. Here she is up close. I think she looks beautiful and I love that the snow is in her, um, her Snow White colors and then it says no white or or now white <laughs> on the bottom. And then on the back, this is my um, first ever Disney Employee Center pin, so a little different than some of the other backs. It's got a little Employee Center logo and it says limited edition of 250. Got two pin posts, really beautiful pin. And um, these Employee Center pins are um, not pins I've ever had before, so this is a first for me and I think it's gorgeous. There are two more pins in this package from Karen, one of which we also traded for and the other is the extra the zap that she sent me all the bubble wrap is popping. So here is the next pin in the package. This is the Little Dutch Girl Small World Mystery Pin from the recently released Small World Goodbye Mystery Pin Box set. This is a set that I would really like to complete and I'm actually quite close to completing it. I think I just have maybe like two more to go. So when I get that pin set complete, I will show you the entire thing. But thank you, Karen, for the trade and hopefully I'll get my hands on um, a couple more of these pins in the very near future. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this pin before. Um, this is the pin that Karen included as an extra, as a zap, and it is a very musical Mickey pin. My whole family is musicians, basically, and so I've kind of got a little mini side collection of musical Mickey mouses, musical Mickey mice happening, and I've never seen this. It says, Sound Station Pin Event, Disneyland 2002, so it's an oldie uh, for starters. This is from back around the time that Disney pin trading was just coming into being, um, but it says, Sound Station Pin Event, and then you've got Mickey kind of doing a, a one-man band kind of show. He's playing a tuba and also a bunch of percussion instruments. It says Disneyland on the top. And then here is a peek um, at the back. It says limited edition of 2500 Disneyland Resort. 
And then um, Disney Pin Trading 2002. I love this. Thank you so much for thinking of me. This is going to fit perfectly in my collection. And like I said, I've, I've never even seen this pin ever before. And finally from Karen's package, last but not least, we have the uh, Judy Hopps inspired scarf. I'm just gonna untie it really quick. I can't believe you knit me a scarf. That is like the sweetest and kindest gesture ever. Um, but yes, it's the Judy colors. So it's got the pink and the light blue and the dark blue. And it's perfect, and it doesn't scream Judy. It's just like, um, you know, like insiders would know that this is Judy inspired, and I love it so much. So thank you so much, Karen. You're amazing, and I'm looking forward to meeting you in Disneyland in uh, just a few short weeks. One of the best things about getting involved in Disney pin trading is you meet so many wonderful, kind, thoughtful, and like-minded people. Not everybody in this community is a gem. There's a couple people that I've encounter that I've been kind of like hmm about but for the most part everybody's been kind of amazing okay this next pin was let me see this was an eBay purchase a recent eBay purchase I mentioned I think in last Monday's magic mail video that I am on a Pinocchio kick like I rewatched Pinocchio and I actually think it's like the best Disney movie that there is, uh, barring like Beauty and the Beast and Zootopia. Like I actually think it is of the classic films, the most beautiful and the most, um, gosh, it just like gets me right in the heart and it's got a lot to say. It's a beautiful, beautiful movie. Um, so I would like to start just a small collection of Pinocchio. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'd like to get some of the Pin Trader Delights and I especially love the Fox and the Cat and I love Figaro and I love like the Pleasure Island imagery. I, I love that movie. It's beautiful. So I was browsing eBay for Pinocchio pins and I found this and it was quite inexpensive. It was very inexpensive and um, I love foxes and I love pin trader delights. And so I actually found the uh, John Worthington Fowl Fellow, the fox from Pinocchio, pin trader delight pin from the Disney Studio Store in Hollywood. And I purchased it immediately and it's really nice. It's really well detailed and pretty looking. And here is a close up of Fowl Fellow and he he is still looking sly and slightly sinister as he eats his Sunday. It's a really nice looking pin. This one is actually limited edition of, um, of 500 and you can see the little ice cream cones on the back because it's from the Disney Studio Store in Hollywood, which is also the the, uh, the ice cream shop. So hence the uh, Pin Trader Delight pin. I really love this and now I feel like I want to get a PTD for every Pinocchio character that's going to be on my wish list for 2019. Next up I have another eBay envelope um, of something else that I'm trying to collect in 2019 which is the Small World Anniversary Mystery Set. I think it was the 50th Anniversary Mystery Set, and it's the one with all of the glittery moving animals. I've shown them on my past several pin mails. I'm like collecting them basically one at a time. And so this is my most recent acquisition from that set. Um, I like that it came wrapped up, uh, not only in bubble wrap, but with the actual um, pin box, because I, I haven't seen one of these yet, so I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. I actually can't remember which animal I ordered next. Oh, it's the reindeer. This one's really cute, you guys. Super, super cute. Okay, I'm gonna take this off the box and then I will give you a peek at the box as well. Oh, I love this set. I'm completely enamored by this whole set and these, oh, these pins are amazing. And here it is. Every time I see one of these in person, I'm just like taken aback by how beautiful and detailed they are. I love the blue glitter on the snowy mountains. And then you've got two reindeer and the one in the foreground is kind of pin on pin. His head moves or her head moves side to side. And then you've got another little one peeking over the mountain in the back. Such a gorgeous pin. You also have the little small world medallion gold medallion down here in the corner yep and it's from the uh, Disneyland 50th anniversary of it's a small world this one is limited release so there are some limited edition chasers in the set they're pretty hard to find so I haven't been able to track down any just yet but I am keeping my eyes peeled but this is my third pin of this uh, set and one day I hope to own them all
And here's just a little look at the back of the box. It's a 16 pin collection. So these ones here are the limited release ones, the more common ones. So far I have collected the reindeer, the tiger, and the giraffes. I love the giraffes. And then there are also eight chasers that are lower edition, harder to find, and much more expensive on eBay. But I do hope to one day have them all because it's just such a beautiful mystery pin set. Probably my favorite mystery mystery pin set of all time. And hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers that by the next time I do another pin mail video, I should have another one to share with you. I have one uh, one trade in the works for, for one of them, so crossing my fingers that it arrives before my next pin mail video, and maybe we can keep the trend of one small world mystery pin per pin mail video going for the whole year until I get them all. Yeah, right, but maybe, maybe. The next package I have is pin mail and magic mail rolled into one. I received this package this week, actually, in my P.O. box, and there's some um, Snow White and Beauty and the Beast stickers on the back, so it's definitely someone who knows who my, my fave princesses are. And this package is from Mandy in West Virginia. I think this might actually be my first mail ever from West Virginia. I might be getting that wrong, but maybe. I think that's true. So hi, Mandy, and thank you for sending me some magic mail. I did snip the top open and peek inside, and I know that there's um, there's a couple pins in here, so I'm really excited to be able to put this magic mail on today's... There's a hair floating in front of my face on today's pin mail video. So I'm going to reach in, and there is a note, and it's on... Oh my gosh. A beautiful Snow White postcard that I have never seen before. I must share a quick close-up of this. Oh, this is so springy. I am trying to put together a spring pin board, and if I do get one together in time, this postcard is absolutely going to be featured on it. It's stunning. And Mandy says, Hi, Becca. Thank you for all of your amazing videos on YouTube. Your joyful spirit is so fun to watch. I wanted to pass these two pins on that you might like. Thank you so much, Mandy. I'm really excited to see what you sent me. Oh, she says, P.S. So glad we met and got a pic together in Disney Springs a few months ago. Oh, I remember that. Hi, I remember you. Thank you for the magic mail. That's so nice. That's, that's incredible. And the postcard is awesome, too. And yes, if you ever see me at Disney, please feel free to come up and say hello. I'm always excited to meet new people. Oh, there's some cute... um little Zootopia stickers in here too. Thank you. Now let's take a look at these pins. I'm gonna start with them, um, with this one. Ooh, I think this is an Evil Queen, an Evil Queen name tag pin. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Super awesome. Oh, it's actually Old Hag. Old Hag is even better than Evil Queen in my book. Okay. So these cast member name tag pins are from a series of mystery pin releases that are only available for cast members to purchase. Um, so they're Disney theme parks cast exclusive pins. And there have been sets for different movies and kind of different categories. And I bet this one maybe came from either the Snow White set or, or a Villains set. But it's obviously the Old Hag from Snow White. And I love love this. She's my favorite villain. And then on the back, it actually says Old Hag and Disney theme parks cast exclusive. And these are, um, again, mystery pins. I've actually never seen this one before, and I'm delighted to add it to my Old Hag, Evil Queen, and Snow White pin collection. I do have kind of a lot of different side collections, and I'm looking at this next pin. Oh, this is a pin that's been on my wish list, actually, um, that also fits a side collection of mine. I collect some Disney dogs, not all Disney dogs, but especially the female Disney dogs. I collect the, the Disney bitches. <laughs> Sounds terrible. I might edit that out, but maybe not. Um, and this is actually from the Disney Cruise Line, and it's Lady, and she's balancing a little um, DCL beach ball on her nose. Look at how cute this is. I had seen photographs of this online, but I've never been able to uh, trade for it. So I'm really excited to receive it as a gift. Thank you so much. I just love her. And I do have a growing collection of lady pins because she reminds me of my, my dog, Molly. Thank you very much, Mandy, for both pins. I did not have either of them and they both fit my collections perfectly. And I also love that postcard that you sent. It's gorgeous. I've never seen that before. So big hugs. I hope our paths cross again at Disney Springs or on a Disney cruise or um, or somewhere in the Disney, the Disney world. The final package I have to share in today's video is from my friends at Pin Bake Shop. And Pin Bake Shop, if you haven't heard me talk about them before, they make the most adorable Disney-themed 
themed cake pins and I've showed them on several videos and I actually just had one in my recent small shop haul that I put up last week but this package I was not expecting it showed up in my PO box this week and I hadn't ordered anything else from them so I'm not totally sure what's in here and it also feels kind of large like I don't think this is a pin but since it's from pin bake shop I'm sure it's at least pin related so let's take a look inside and ooh, it's kind of wrapped up all like like a little gift I'm pretty excited and there is a card inside and on the back it says the one where pin bake shop turns one. Oh yeah they are celebrating their first uh, birthday or first I guess anniversary as an Etsy shop like right now this month so maybe it's like a little celebratory pin bake shop woohoo package um, the card is really cute it's got all these like beautiful stars on it oh wow and there's a really long nice handwritten note and um, this is from Abby and Charmaine and together they have pin bake shop which I love. Let me just take a moment to read this. Wow, this is just a really nice heartfelt thank you note for supporting their shop, which of course I do because they're amazing pins. They're wonderful pins. And they say down here at the very bottom, P.S. Enjoy your latest marvelous mini cake series with a sneak peek of San Fran Sokyo's favorite Avenger. Okay, so Pin Bake Shop recently came out with all of these um, Marvel themed mini cake pins and I'm really bad at Marvel. I watch Marvel Marvel movies but I have a really hard time keeping them straight. My head is filled with like every Disney character, every Harry Potter character, and every Game of Thrones character. And then when it comes to things like Marvel and Star Wars, my brain is too full to properly remember them all, but I still enjoy the franchises. Um, but I think they sent me the entire collection of Marvel cake pins because this feels kind of hefty. So let me take a look. Sorry the lighting is getting a little weird here. The sun is going down and it's like bursting through my windows into my eyeballs right now. Oh, how cool. Yes, it's a pin board with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 little mini Marvel cakes on it. I've got to show you these pins. And here they all are. Wow, I'm so amazed that they sent me literally all of their Marvel pins and I, it's hard for me to recognize them. I'll have to do a little research, but I, I recognize Captain America and I recognize Spider-Man. Oh, and then down here, this is what they mentioned. There's a Baymax cake. This actually hasn't been released yet. I hope I don't get in trouble for showing this, but there's a little Baymax Big Hero 6 cake down here. This is new and probably coming to their shop soon, but they also have all of these Marvel cakes for sale in their shop right now, and they're super cool. Thank you so much. Ooh, I'm seeing Black Panther up here. I love Black Panther, by the way. Um, this is awesome. I'm gonna have a good time looking through these when I'm off camera. These are a little bit different than their regular cake offerings. They usually do these like layered cakes, and these are kind of like the mini cakes. And it's my first time seeing them in person, and they're really nice. They're really super cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think there's one more little thing in this package as well. Feeling it. What is in here? Like little gifties. Oh, cool. Yes, this is their, um, their birthday cake pin. This is like their actual birthday pin and a really gorgeous um, keychain. Let me show you close-ups of these as well. So here, can you see it with my wacky lighting? The lighting is getting super weird, but this is the pin that they released for their one-year birthday or kind of anniversary. It says Pin Bake Shop on this layer. And then down here, it's like friends. It says Central Perk. That is darling with the little um, film clapper at the top. This is more typical um, of their pin style. So like their princess pins all kind of have this uh, kind of format to pin posts and, and multiple layers to them. That's so cute. And then look at this huge, gorgeous keychain that they also sent. It's very French looking. It says Pin Bake Shop and it's got the little cake pins in the window. It kind of reminds me of um, Lauderay, the macaron shop um, in Paris. Oh, this is so cool. What a nice little gifty. Thank you so much, ladies. I will um, put this on a bag or maybe actually on my, my keys very soon. I absolutely love this and it's, it's huge. It's enormous. Big thank you and happy birthday and congratulations to Pin Bake Shop. I will link to Pin Bake Shop down below and I know that they are having actually a birthday sale through the end of April. I think their whole stock is 20% off. So if you've never checked out their Etsy website before, you should go check it out because they've got like princess pins and so many awesome things and um, follow their Instagram as well because that's where they put all of their new releases. And I heard there might be a restock of that Dumbo pin that people like so much. So go check them out. I will 
leave their info down below. Ah, oh, the lighting in this room is so wacky right now. I have to keep adjusting things just so I can actually like see my camera, my viewfinder. The last thing I wanted to share with you on today's pin mail video is something that's pin related and I didn't receive it in the mail, but it was actually given to me by some friends when I was at Disney a few weeks ago. People ask me all the time where and how I store my pins when I'm taking them into the parks for trading. And I have shown these several times on my channel before, kind of in passing. I haven't really spoken about them much, but I use these awesome contraptions called pin folios. And this is my, my latest one. The pin folio owners bumped into me last time I was at Disney and they gifted me this one and also like a cute tiny itty bitty one. So I think I now have four different pin folios, all in different sizes. Um, but I just wanted to give them a quick shout out and a thank you for giving this to me because they really are awesome. They zip open and inside you can just stick your little pins like right into the surface and then you zip it up and everything's nice and safe and you can take it with you. And then you can also put pins in the front and there's like a little pouch in the back and they're just really cool. Like for example, here's one I have of a different size that actually has some pins in it. So you just unzip it and then inside You've got all the uh, <laughs> the recent mystery pins and some pins for trading in the parks. And then you just zip it up and after you've made your trade and it fits nicely into your backpack and if you've got a small purse, they've even got a, like a super small size. And they're just really convenient and handy to have. So I wanted to say thank you to the lovely folks at Pinfolio for the gift. And I also just wanted to let you all know that I love these things and if you're looking to take some pins into the parks on a future trip, I would recommend checking out their products. So I will link them down below this isn't sponsored I just wanted to give them a shout out because um, they're just lovely people and I I really like these things they're they're very practical and um, and compact and a great way to travel with your pins and the Sun is officially in my eyes and I'm gonna wrap up this video now thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed a little pin mail magic mail Monday leave a comment down below let me know which pin from this haul was your favorite also let me know if we are hashtag pin twins on any of the pins that I I showed. I want to let you know that next Monday there may not be a magic mail video. It's kind of like 50-50 chance because it's Easter next weekend and I usually do something with my family and I'm also throwing my sister a baby shower next weekend so I think I'm gonna be really busy next week so it kind of depends on if I can get a magic mail filmed several days ahead of time and if I can't I might have to miss a week so I'll keep you posted on that. Um, Hopefully I can get one up, maybe like a mini short one. Um, but if there's not one next week, I, I haven't forgotten about your mail. I just have some family things going on. And that's it for today. I hope your week is off to a wonderful start. My week is definitely off to a very bright and sunshiny and shiny face start. Let me know down in the comments section what you are grateful for or looking forward to or happy about this week. Let's keep the Monday vibes um, really positive. And I'll be back soon with more Disney videos for you. Until then, have a a magical Monday and I'll see you real soon. Bye guys. Mwah.